one of a number of radar stations dotted along the south coast during the Second World War, and the first to be built. Being the nearest station to occupied Europe, it was one of the most vulnerable, and came under attack on several occasions. Yes, but all their thoughts are better than drivers. <laughs> We are now approaching the stop nearest the Isle of Wight garlic farm. With over 60 years of garlic growing experience, the owners have spent the years exploring the history and origins of garlic, making connections worldwide, and experimenting with the many different varieties here on the island. They have created a range of garlic infused products, from garlic mayonnaise and chutneys, to black garlic beer, and even a garlic ice cream. The farm hosts a number of events and shows, offering delicious garlic-inspired grub. The farm also has holiday cottages and yurts available for rent. Yes, but all their farts are better than those. The lane to our right leads down to the village of Knighton, which is pronounced Knighton, to distinguish it from another village on the island, also called Knighton, spelled differently and without a K. This hamlet is a hotspot for ghost hunters and is believed to be the most haunted place on the island. At the stroke of midnight on New Year's Day, it is said that ghostly laughter and music can be heard from the site of the former manor house. There have also been reported sightings of a headless horseman riding up the lane. Ahead of us now is Ashy Down, on the yeah, top of which is a three-sided sea 